All right, guys, so real talk. Tell me if I'm the only one that has a large bag collection that has a lot of bag guilt. Yes, it is true, I have bag guilt. I have all these gorgeous bags and literally not enough days in the week, the month, or the year to carry them all. So you know what? I took the week off from work, not because I have bag guilt for many other reasons. We had the members meet up. What was it? Oh, my birthday. That's a big deal. And during that time, I decided that I wanted to try and carry as many bags as I could during that entire week plus off that I was free. I think I did pretty good and the options that I carried this week are gonna surprise you. So we're gonna dive in, kicking it off first with Friday, which was the first day of the members meetup. Now the Friday of the members meetup, I decided to go for more of a casual look. I wore that fabulous Hart Schaffner and Mark's um, thrifted pinstripe blazer, a blue denim shirt, not the one I have on, I think it was a different shirt, so don't judge me. And just a light pair of dad jeans, paired with my stunning Hermes Kelly 35, Togo leather, blue jean, palladium hardware. Guys, I absolutely love this bag, but I don't really like carrying my H to work. Like, you get it, we get it, right? I absolutely love when I can take this out on the weekends. And because it's kind of cooling off, we're seeing more autumnal weather, finally. I decided to pair this bag up with my Kelly on Pearl scarf. Together, they're absolute perfection. And what I love about the blue jean colorway, much like actual denim, it can go with just about anything during any season. This looks fabulous in the winter with a big gray coat. It looks amazing in spring with, with my bright Breeds de Gala Twilly around the handle. Overall, absolutely fabulous bag. We actually popped into Hermes, which is part of the reason why I wanted to make sure to carry an Hermes bag that first day. And I don't know, the Kelly does not disappoint. Now, in my collection, I have one Kelly, one Birkin. I would absolutely take another one of each. So who knows, maybe 2025 will be the year of another Kelly, but... Bag number one, I think we're off to a pretty good start, right? Now on Saturday, this bag is one of my absolute favorites. But before we dive into all that, hey guys, my name's Caleb. I post luxury and lifestyle related content three times a week. So if that's something you're into, hit the subscribe button down below. Consider joining the membership for extra perks and access. So on Saturday, we were all meeting up at Ralph's to have coffee, pastries before the Ralph Lauren store opened, which was absolutely so much fun. I love Ralph's for breakfast. And once you get like a fun group of people together, like hitting that big Ralph Lauren store, so fun, so fabulous, so over the top. So it needed a very special bag, right? And that is where my Soft Ricky 33 in the RL Gold colorway came into play. And with this look, gosh, what did I have on? I think I had on a dark brown corduroy shirt from Ralph Lauren. I draped a sweater around my neck. I think dark wash jeans that day in a Ralph Lauren belt. 100% a vibe, I'm not gonna lie. This Ralph Lauren Ricky, you guys, is absolutely stunning. I mean, it would look amazing with this outfit, by the way. So, cannot go wrong with RL Gold. I actually just added a second Ricky to my collection. So if you haven't watched it yet, go over and check out that video after this is done. I'll have it linked down below. But guys, if you can get your hand on a really good Ralph Lauren Ricky, you will not be disappointed. This is the soft version and I have a whole breakdown both in my new unboxing and in the review of this video. This bag you guys is absolutely fabulous and it's kind of my ride or die. Like in my collection I can think of like five bags that I would grab. Well I can think of at least 25 but I can think of five bags that I would grab first if there were another fire. This is definitely on that list of the top five. I love my Rickies so this was a good choice and I love how I kind of just paired it with all neutrals that day. Perfect for Ralph Lauren and just bumming around the city while well, we weren't bumming. We were having champagne at Fendi, Chanel, Marc Jacobs, you name it, but check out the Ralph Lauren Ricky if you have it. Now for day three of the meetup, we were meeting out here at Rosemont for just a little bit of outlet shopping. This day was the final day. Like, listen guys, we had been shopping for, gosh, Saturday was probably nine hours easily. No. Honestly, let's be serious. It was probably closer to 12 hours of shopping. And then with Friday, what, another six, seven hours of shopping, which literally almost like 20 hours just in those first two days of the members meetup. Again, I'm bad at math, so don't check me in the comments. But Sunday, we were all a little tired. We're just taking the Rosemont outlets. So I'm like, you know what? We're gonna be casual energy, cash vibes 100. And I picked one of my newer bags, newer to me, I should say. And I went with the Lindy 34. Now this is in the Evercolor leather, which if you're not familiar, Evercolor, it's very, gosh, it's kind of like, it's like Swift meets Chev almost in the way that it feels. It's very soft, lightly pebbled, absolutely stunning. I think Evercolor, it's named aptly so because it does such a good job taking on whatever color they're trying to dye it in. Mine is in the color Eton with the Palladium hardware. And what I love most about the Lindy, and I don't know, this kind of reminds me of my coach days back in the day. I loved the coach Snaphead. And the clue to sell here on the Tourette of the Lindy reminds me of that. So that's probably one of my favorite icons of Hermes is that clue to sell. And 
with this bag, you of course have the ridiculous five feet across the bottom, pockets on the outside. You can either carry it with the handles here or up on the shoulder, which makes this like the most comfortable bag in my collection. I might be lying to you. I think the Vespa is actually number one. This is probably number two. Oh, well now I have my new Guy Bear. Mm. We'll call this number three, just because it's a little bit boxier and a little bit bigger. But the 34 size is absolutely fabulous. However, I think you'd probably have to be pretty close to my stature to pull it off. I'm six foot seven, by the way. So check out Alindi. This has quickly become one of my favorite H bags. I love this thing. So then Monday, Tuesday, after the members meet up, listen, guys, we had so much fun. We shopped till we dropped quite literally. I was exhausted, but we still had to run around town, do some errands, do some things, if you will. So I needed to carry something that was comfortable, lightweight, but still absolutely fabulous because hello we're already off to a pretty darn good start if you ask me so i went with my newest bag the guy bear pretty grooming bag now these are handcrafted in either france or spain actually i think the pretty grooming bag is specifically made in spain but again handmade absolutely stunning this leather comes from the same tanneries that hermes uses for their clemence leather if you want to learn more about guy bear i will have their website linked down below this i also got for my birthday the company sent it to me and i am head over heels with this bag so make sure you go and check them out there's a couple more on my wish list from Guy Bear, which I'll do a whole, I don't know if I'm going to do like a Christmas wish list or what I want in 2025, but Guy Bear will definitely be on the list. This colorway is absolutely fabulous. You can literally wear it with anything, dress it up, dress it down. I think it would actually work really well with this outfit. This Maasai reddish orange is actually pulling out some of the colors here in my Hermes Pompa scarf. I believe this is the 45 centimeter variation or maybe it's 55 don't quote me i did a whole unboxing last year for my birthday so go and check that out but these come in so many beautiful colors you can either get it in this like gorgeous squishy soft pebbled leather or they even have like a bridal saddle version check them out link is down below so that brings us to Wednesday, which if you haven't heard, it was a very special national holiday. Hi, it was my birthday. You know, it was a fun day. I kind of paired this outfit. I was trying to go with kind of like a, a modern chill country aesthetic, if you will. I had a thrifted L.L. Bean shirt with like a little orange and green kind of uh, stripe to it. Checker? Grid? I don't know, don't quote me. This same Hermes scarf, I had a, a dark green Ralph Lauren cable knit sweater wrapped around my shoulders, my RL Western belt, some dark jeans, and the, the crown jewel of my whole ensemble was my Hermes Birkin 35. Now this is done in the box calf leather, Verfonce palladium hardware. I got so lucky in finding this bag, you guys. This Verfonce goes with literally everything. And quite honestly, I don't understand why everyone is so afraid of box leather. It is literally one of the easiest leathers to care for in my collection. I think it's, it's just a beautiful classic look. And I love how on my Birkin, the stitching is the same color as the rest of the body of the bag. So it kind of makes it a little bit more understated, a little bit more casual, if you will. And and overall, she is in absolutely stunning condition for being a 2001. And this colorway, you guys, it is literally just so perfect for this time of year. As the leaves are changing, it's like a nice dark moody green. So I don't know. I just really love wearing this bag in like the fall and into the winter, especially with like the evergreens, all the Christmas decor. I don't know. I'm a nerd, but... I love my Birkin, the perfect bag to to take out, if you will. We had lunch. We did a little bit of window shopping with Jamie at Lux Petite. I say window shopping because I was literally so shopped out after the members meet up. I, I did a lot of shopping that weekend. So I was just window browsing, if you will. We popped into Ralph Lauren for a little bit. We stopped over and got some coffee, checked out Ballard Design with their new Christmas decor that's out. It was just a really nice, fun, chill afternoon and the perfect bag to spend my birthday with. Now that brings us to the end of the week. And sadly... The sun is setting quite literally on my vacation. <sighs> So what bag am I carrying over these last couple of days? After seeing everything behind me, it's it's very classic, very chic. So if you're familiar with my collection and you kind of know what I've unboxed recently that I haven't carried yet, you might you might guess what this next bag is. But I kind of wanted to challenge myself to style this bag and I, I don't I don't know. Let me just show you the bag and then we'll get into it. But I am loving this thing because it is so ridiculous, so over the top, kind of ugly, if you will, which makes it incredibly cute, in my opinion. I have been inside <laughs> my Givenchy Saka bag. Now, I am literally still in it right now. It's got all my stuff inside. This is the Givenchy Saka from like the very late 2000s. There is almost no information about this on the internet. There's like two posts on the purse blog, maybe one or two things in the purse forum. And other than that, it's pretty mums the word. I can literally find three celebrities carrying this bag. One's Ellen Pompeo, one is Sarah Jessica Parker. The third person, I, I couldn't tell you who she is, but I'm sure she's fabulous. She had a Givenchy Saka after all. This bag has been so much fun to carry and 
I'm going to show you inside because it is so ridiculous and over the top, but it's just literally a big black hole. And you can quite literally throw anything you want in here. We stopped over at the post office to pit check my PO box, throw all my letters and stuff inside here. We stopped off over at like Target. We ran and did errands here, there and everywhere. This bag, you guys, is so ridiculously big, smushy. Now, my one complaint, this is my first and only patent bag. I've been collecting bags literally since like 2000, 2007, I would say. 2007 is when I started my bag journey, if you will. God, more like a marathon, but this is the first time I've ever had a patent bag and I'm kind of struggling with ways to style it. My, my aesthetic now is not quite as edgy, edgy edgy as it once was. I mean, it used to be a little bit more, a little bit more casual, a little bit more fun. Now these days I'm going for a more classic look. So I mean, hello, does this, this doesn't necessarily go together. So I paired it with like a denim look. I just put on like a Uniqlo t-shirt again with the Ralph Lauren belt, just a pair of like Nike dad shoes. And I thought that was a pretty good look, but I, I need some more inspiration on how to carry this bag. So if you guys are familiar with my closet and what I've, I've worn in the past, let me know like what shirts or sweaters would pair well with this. I have that all same sweater that I think would still be a vibe and then maybe just like a plain black turtleneck with ooh black leather pants that could be a vibe taking notes mentally here now honestly guys if you can get your hands on a Saka I would highly recommend it um when I first showed it to you guys you all loved it you actually bought the ones that I had linked down below which was so cool to see so those of you that bought one I hope you're loving them I love mine I just I wish it was an actual leather not patent. You, you get what I mean. Patent's just kind of hard to work with. So we're working on it. I'm experimenting and having fun with her. And the Givenchy Saka is such a fun bag. All right, guys. And that wraps up everything I've carried this week. We had a bit of a high-low moment. We had a lot of Hermes, a Ralph Lauren Ricky, a Guy Bear, my Givenchy Saka, if you will. And overall, this week kind of describes me at my core. I love good classic design, quality, craftsmanship, and just really interesting shapes and, and silhouettes. So I don't know. This is something fun that I, I enjoy doing. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of task myself with doing this every time I have the week off because typically during a work week, I stay in the same bag for a week, or if it's my LL Bean tone in the summer, like literally all summer long. So I'm going to try and do this again over I think Thanksgiving break. So we'll see. Anyway, guys, until next time, stay safe, have fun. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.